Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today in the show, we're going to make chicken and dumpling casserole. In a baking dish, I've already put four tablespoons of melted butter on the bottom. And then I had some leftover chicken pulled from the freezer. This is three chicken breasts, boiled and shredded. So you need three cups of shredded chicken. You could do up to four if you really want a lot of chicken. And we're using the light meat, but you can surely use the dark meat too. Now we're going to put over some pepper to taste about a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of some ground sage. Half a teaspoon of some poultry seeds. Now in this bowl, we have got two cups of our homemade Bisquick mix. And then we added two cups of whole milk to it and whisked it together. And we're just going to pour this over the chicken. I'm going to kind of spread it out a little bit. Now we got right here, we've got two cups of chicken broth. And I bumped up the chicken flavor with a teaspoon or two of the chicken bouillon or the little chicken granules. And then with one can of cream of chicken soup. I'm going to pour this over. Now if you want to do cream of mushroom or cream of celery, any of the cream of soups will work. And then I'm going to dust the top with a little bit of more poultry seasoning and a little bit more pepper just a little pinch of some sage because sage can a little bit goes a long way we're going to pop this in the oven it's already preheated to 350 degrees and we're going to bake it for about 35 to 45 minutes don't stir it you got to let all them just layers just settle and bake or you'll mess it up our chicken and dumpling casserole just came out of the oven if it ain't getting brown enough on top for you flip your oven to broil and broil the top about three to five minutes but that's what it looks like so you think it's gonna be all runny but it soaks up all the stuff and the biscuit soaks up all the stuff and it makes a nice little gravy sauce but when you take it out of the oven i'd let it cool for at least a good 20 minutes before you serve it because it, it is popping hot. You can serve it with anything. Um, a salad, a mashed potatoes, and a vegetable, whatever you want to. But there you have it, chicken and dumpling casserole.